Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of Indiana. We're currently in the city of Angola. We're gonna be doing a walking tour of downtown Angola, Indiana. It's about 65 degrees right now. We're passing West Gilmore Street. If you look on my right hand side, you'll see the Angola Water Tower. We have the Angola United Methodist Church on my left hand side. We have some housing directly across the street. Some residential homes located right by downtown. Angola is a city in Pleasant Township, Steuben County. The population was 8,612 at the 2010 United States Census. The city is the county seat of Steuben County. Angola was founded by Thomas Gate and Cornelius Gilmore on June 28, 1838. And it's home to Trine University. So right now we're approaching one of the main streets here in the downtown area. We have jobs, walk-ins welcome, Pro Resource Staffing Services. That's a staffing service agency. So I'm assuming if you're looking for employment, they'll be able to help you get a job. We just came off of West Street. We're at the intersection of West and Maumee. So right now, we're on the downtown strip. This is the United Methodist Church, Angola United Methodist Church on my left-hand side. We got Wild Honey Salon across the street. There was a female, she's painting the entrance of her business. We have Cahoots Coffee Cafe on my left-hand side. We got some nice uh, gates that are surrounding the sidewalk. Check it out. And it looks like there's even a walkway. Yeah, look at right here. There's a little walkway. Little fancy uh, gate system they got spanning this part of downtown. We got the Angola Quilt Shop. This is a quilt shop. It's open for all you quilters. Now, remember earlier we were talking about employment? Not far from here, several minutes away, we got Then and Now Antique. About several minutes away, I saw a business that was hiring for a little over 18, 19 bucks an hour. It was a wiring company. Looks like they manufacture wire. So it looks like this part of Indiana has employment opportunities. If there's anybody that's interested in relocating, moving, and so on. Check it out. It's an art display right in front of this then and now antique shop. So we're on Mommy and Elizabeth. Mommy and Elizabeth spelled M-A-U. M E E. I don't know if that's Mumi or Mommy. Tell me what you guys think. Almost sounds like Mommy. <laughs> like Peter Griffin's son. He'd be like, Mommy, Mommy, Ma, Mother, Ma, Mommy, Ma, Ma. <laughs> if you ever watched that cartoon and you know exactly what I'm talking about, Family Guy. We got Calio Cafe, unless it's Salio. Calio Cafe, the hair center. We got some outdoor dining tables right here the venue we just passed the restaurant called the venue we got another antique shop we got a nice busy for the most part for such a small downtown it's pretty busy it's a lot of driving traffic so the total area that angola encompasses is 6.54 square miles let's make this left hand turn so it looks like we're near, I guess what you could probably call Town Square. It looks like there's a theater. Check this out. It's a pretty cool theater right here. Looks nice. So a little over six miles makes up this town. Check it out. There's a cool little theater. I like the old style theaters all across America. We got Mitchell's Prom. 
knowledge, service, and experience. I like the styling of the front of these buildings. This is Welcome to Sutton's. You look up top, they got the lights and then they got bricks. Check out that monument right in the middle. Pretty cool, right? Check it out, home of the Steuben County, or not, it doesn't say the, I added that somehow. Don't you hate it when your brain adds words? <laughs> home of Steuben County Farmer's Market. Oh, we actually passed City Hall. That building we passed, that we walked right in front of, right before the theaters, look at City Hall, it says it right in front of it. See the clock they got right there on the corner of City Hall? So that City Hall looks like a regular, brick style building it got shutters on it but those shutters don't even look functional so what we'll do is we'll walk to the corner of gilmore we'll cross the street and then we'll continue around the square check out these chairs this is a nice little color setup they got four chairs red green yellow and orange with the flower pots Got an alley, a clothing shop, like a little boutique. Taz, Kings Antenna Service. Why wow, they still antennas? I've never really seen a business dedicated solely to antennas. <laughs> All right, city of Angola. I believe we have a police department on the corner. This is a police officer pulling up to us right now with a gray vehicle. So we're gonna cross the street. I'm gonna cross here. We're at Wayne and Gilmore. Wayne and Gilmore. So now we're passing Libby's, Libby's clothing, accessories, jewelry, and gifts. So Angola is on an elevation of 1,063 feet above sea level. So the difference between land and water, the total amount of land is 6.54 square miles, right? Well, the total amount that makes up the city is 6.54 square miles but it's 6.49 square miles of land versus 0 0.05 square miles of water. So we got a couple businesses. We got an art studio, check that out. Bent Fork Art Studio. We got a pizza pub. Healthy's Angola. Oh, that's awesome. They have a vegan restaurant. It's called The Rooted Vegan. Pretty neat. We just passed The Rooted Vegan. Show you guys the square from this side. So it doesn't look like there's much going on down here. Let's walk a half a block, like a half a block. Let's take it to Martha and then let's continue with our little routine going around. We got First National Bank right here. First National Bank. I came over here because I did see these two shops. So I'm like, I can't completely disregard them. We got Rocco Hair Shop. Looks like a hair salon. I see a couple of women in there. Optica LLC, established in 2003. Managed IT solutions. All right, so. We're at Martha Street, Moose Family Center, the Herald Republican. So we're gonna cross the street. So there's a sign over there that reads Angola Commercial Historic District. So I'm assuming that's what this is actually classified as. We got Evolve Crystal Studio. And there's a building for lease right here on my left. 
I've seen downtowns called so many different things since I traveled across the country. Everything from the traditional downtown, center city, city center, uh, town square, business district, commercial district, historic commercial district. That's that same cop over there on my right hand side. You see him with the, with the gray Dodge. See how he has the gray Dodge? He already went around the block once. So if you take a look down on the ground, you will notice some nice brickwork. They got a Zumba fitness class going on here. Looks like a fitness, oh, check this out. The Angola Lodge, free and accepted masons. The living room center, very interesting. So let's take a look at this. Pretty cool artwork located right in front of Roots and Rocks Merchantiles. Connected by Nathan Pierce. Some interesting artwork, right? Looks a little abstract. We got some cool busts out here. Baron Vaughn bust. Before we get close to the bust, let's take a look at this building. Baron Vaughn Steuben. We got a little squirrel over there. What's up, squirrel dude? <laughs> he ran because I told him to subscribe and turn on his notification bell. <laughs> he said, I ain't doing that. I'm out, boy. And he took his little nut and ran. Look at the Steuben County Courthouse. Oh, wow. So this is the county courthouse, guys. It looks like a church, don't it? At first, off the back, I thought it was a church. Free lecture. That's pretty cool. It looks like it's made out of bronze, like a bronze sculpture. I like the flowers. We have some cool flowers out here. Flowers you don't see everywhere. All right, so on this corner, they have the Northeast Indiana Community Corrections. Wow, is that a correctional facility? Get out of town <laughs> or get out of Angola. <laughs> Yo, this better not be a prison right here near downtown. But I won't be surprised because I saw some downtowns that had that. I think that's rather close, you know, to put like a correctional facility near downtown. Now it doesn't look like it's a prison. Community corrections. Oh, I got it. I got it. Wah, wah, wah. I was wrong. Community corrections as in because I see a shovel, I see ladder, I see a happy person and I see a little uh, a home. I believe community corrections as in like probably street repair, home repair. If you have a tree that probably needs to be cut. We're on Gale Street. Wayne and Gale. Oh, right here is the sign. Look at it. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2010. So we're going to cross the street. We're just going to wait for traffic. We got another car or so. And then we're going to cross the street. It looks like there's a fax and notary business right there on my left hand side. I'm going to let this traffic go by. This is the back of the courthouse. Might as well show you the back of the courthouse while I'm standing in the middle of the street. We got a law office. Wow, we got a building that's boarded up, surprisingly. Boarded up. They got the stained glass up top. That looks beautiful. It looks like they probably had one here. You see how there's two? Looks like they probably ruined the third one. And they just put plexiglass. <laughs> the 
incense, bath and body. It's called Elemento. Look at that skeleton. They got a skeleton mermaid. Wow. Edward Jones Investments. Wow, check out the, the planters they painted on there. Those aren't even, obviously they're not real planters, but they painted flowers on the building. Studio 2 Styling Salon, Guardian Title Company. Look at this artwork. So they got a bunch of artwork strategically placed in the downtown area. Every piece has a place. That was done by Alex Mendez, Decatur, Illinois, Mild Steel 2021. The price was $6,000. Wow, so it says the price. It looks like a bunch of metal uh, welded together and painted. Man, he charged 6,000 bucks for that? Yo! Welding is where it was at then. <laughs> I have some friends that were welders in high school and um, they actually made pretty good income straight out of high school. Entry salary level was like, or I should say our hourly rate was like 25 bucks an hour straight out of high school. And I got one buddy that's been doing welding for probably 13, 14 years. With that being said, he's probably well over the 30, 40, maybe $50 mark. Cause I know underwater welders get paid a lot more, but he's not an underwater welder, but. I almost feel like I gotta show you guys that little memorial that's in the center. So we walked over there. Remember, that's the theater. That's the theater. That's everything. This is the same police officer that keeps on passing by us. He passed by us three times. So I'm gonna cross here. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a safe place for you to cross. There's no uh, crosswalk. I don't even know if they want people to walk to the center, but guess what? I'm gonna play Frogger real quick. And I'm a hopscotch and run. Well, not really, but I'm gonna jog over there shortly. All right, I'm crossing. Check it out. Oh, this is a war memorial for those who never returned. Wow, that goes to show you guys. A lot of towns across America lost tons and tons of people. I'm gonna look straight up so that you guys can get an idea somewhat of the height. Steuben County's Roll of Honor. Is it me? What is that that's in his hand? Is that a paint roller? It almost looks like a corn on a cob, but it got bristles. I'm trying to figure out, is that a paint roller? And if it is a paint roller, why my man got a gun in his hand at the same time? <laughs> wow. It looks like he got a paddle. Yeah, he almost looks like he's from the Navy. Yeah, he looks like he was probably like a Navy participant. He served in the Navy maybe, because he got a paddle. I'm still trying to figure out what's on that stick over there that that dude's holding. Steuben's County Roll of Honor, or County's Roll of Honor. It has a whole list of the people who, I believe their lives were lost. All right, so I think I want to go back to the corner that I left off at, which means I'm gonna have to probably play Frogger again. You remember, remember? Remember the game Frogger? That was a pretty cool game with 2D graphics. Simple, but effective. You know what was another cool game? Let me wait till this truck passes by. There's a lot of traffic. This looks like a very busy corner, doesn't it? Look how much traffic is coming through. I'm gonna try to go through. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Thank you very much. So another cool game used to be Dig Dug. 
Remember Dig Dug? Big Doug used to use a <laughs> used to use a an air pump to fill up the the character. I think there was a bunch of characters chasing you, and you would have to stop and pump them up. And after you pump them up, they'll blow up, but you can't let them get you. And you, the whole objective was to dig above ground. Passing an antique shop on our left. We have tons of police in this area because there's another police officer in a white car that just drove by. Tons and tons of police. So that's what we walked by earlier. We walked by the venue of Angola. That's City Hall. You see the sign? Now I can see it. Yeah, there's so many 18-wheeler trucks that's going through downtown too. So many 18-wheelers. Oh, here's another uh, mural. I mean, a uh, mural. Artwork. <laughs> Close, but not exactly the same. It looks like the human hand doing the rock sign, right? Like, you know, rocker, party like a rock star. Like when you take your middle finger and your ring finger and you bend them in and then you stick out your pointer, your pinky and your thumb. That's almost what it looks like. And it's called a sign of love. And it was also made by Mr. Alex Mendez of Decatur, Indiana, mild steel anodized paint. The price of this was $3,800. And who said people ain't buying art no more? <laughs> wow. It is an RV right there, a camper. All right, so let's continue moving forward. Wow, my guy got a double glass door. Look at that. That thing is like 45 feet long, bro. That's pretty long. All right, look at this. Look at this little artwork. Metal, again, it's like some type of probably steel, galvanized steel. Trying my best. Emily Bennett, she's from Terre Halt, Indiana. The price of this was $1,200. Wow, $1,200 for that, guys. This is beautiful. This is just kind of expensive. <laughs> $1,200. How about like 120 bucks? <laughs> it's like, no. Nah. It's because welders make good money, man. And the welding task isn't easy. It's not easy at, 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 at all. And then welders risk losing their vision every day they're on the job. Their vision deteriorates over time. And they also risk um, being around an explosion because the acetylene tank has the potential, if not uh, set up properly, it can blow up, you know? So it's a risky job. Especially when we talked about the underwater welders, remember? Underwater welders, they gotta go deep diving with with uh, scuba suits and they gotta go and swim below, you know, feet of water and they gotta weld the actual repair job. And sometimes it's on ships most of the time it is on ships, but sometimes it's like on pipes. Like, I don't know if you guys remember the the BP oil thing that happened like 10, 11, 12 years ago. It was for like several months that the BP uh, tank line broke and it was spitting oil everywhere. Yeah. Somebody had to go down there and repair that. So it looks like if you keep going this way, you're gonna get to homes. But we're gonna cross the street. We're back on West and Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Mom, Mommy. Mother, Ma, Ma, Mommy. Who remembers the TV show called Dinosaurs? Remember Dinosaurs? You remember, remember? Remember that it had the big baby dinosaur and, she, and, and I don't know if it was a he or she. He used to be like, not the mama, not the mama. Remember that? <laughs> I just took it back. That's the church from a further distance. I know when we first walked by, we were really close. Oh man, let's listen to the music. Wow, they're really throwing down with the music.
Alright, check out that bright orange Ram 3500. I like that truck and it's a dually. I used to have a car that color, that same as that color. Back when I was 16. Yeah, bright as ever. There's a house for sale over or a small building, MBC Distributing. The address is 307. Let's figure out what we're on. We're on Gilmore. So that little small building right there has a for sale sign. 307 Gilmore, Angola, Indiana. That little small one-story building that you see in front of us, the light pink one, is for sale. If you want to Google the price to see how much that property is going for, it looks like it could probably be like a commercial business, like a retail front. As you can see, you see the Angola, see the Angola water tower. It's pretty cool. And I believe this is the police station over here. This is the police station. Yep, Angola Police Department. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we did not tour the whole entire Angola, Indiana, but I just wanted to plant the seed show you guys this area let you guys know this exists you can always google and learn more about the area via wikipedia google and or youtube you know 